Away from the check-in desks and duty-free is a special office in Ataturk Airport. It's where Fadi Mansour lived for over a year. He fled Syria to avoid military service and eventually made it to Istanbul, where immigration officers spotted his fake passport and took him to the problematic passengers' room. Instead of getting asylum, he slept on a bench with 30 others, eating a daily diet of airport burgers. Then last month, after tweeting a sign that read, looking for safety is not a crime, the crime is to hold a person in the airport for a year, the authorities moved him to a detention centre. Now his lawyer fears he's about to be deported back to Syria. Amnesty International has described Mansour's treatment as cruel, inhumane and degrading. Words Turkey doesn't want to hear as it strives to meet European criteria to be granted visa-free travel for Turkish citizens. The European Commission says that Turkey has fulfilled less than half of some 72 requirements and must work harder in key areas, including reducing the backlog of asylum applications, of giving out more work permits to refugees, of limiting the number of visas to countries that pose a serious migration risk, and protecting fundamental human rights here. But the Turkish government says it's all in hand. We're doing our best to integrate them. As far as education is concerned, they are able to get education within the camps and within the country. But these are challenges we're dealing with as we speak. So you wouldn't accept the other criticism that they're being treated as like a second class citizen? Uh, definitely not. But one asylum expert says the status of Syrian refugees is far from equal. There is no <coughs> integration. It's still taboo word. However, uh, Turkey is now in the process of realizing that it has to live with uh, large, almost three million people together in an unforeseen future. Is it in danger of creating second class people <coughs> who don't have all the rights that they should have? Second class, third class, whatever uh, you may say, yes. The Turkish president announced this week if there's no deal on visa waivers, then the deal on refugees being returned to Turkey is off too. But with refugee traffic from Syria into Europe already much reduced since the deal was announced, it's in the interest of both sides to make it work. Sutan Al Jazeera, Ankara.